Hey everybody, welcome to another new video. So I just want to make a short video on how to craft double elevated uh, tail one and cooldown recovery boots. I crafted them for my Castle and Crypt Forbidden Right character and kind of explain and show you why if you go to try and buy them yourself, they're very expensive because it's a very, very painful process. All right, so what you want to do is get some Shaper boots with cooldown recovery and another Shaper mod on them and get super lucky with the first Orb of Dominance. And then you get boots that you want the enchant on. I went for Crusader boots. Slam it with an exalted orb, and then spam away. And spam. Do you get it? Soft because it cannot be changed. And then go over to the harvest. Reforge Chaos to get a second hunter mod. Hit it with an orb of dominance, and fail. Spam again. Chaos after chaos after chaos after chaos. Get it? Realize your prefixes are full. And then hit it with an annul because you know there's a low chance that you know one out of five that you would hit the the tailwind the annul. But of course, tailwind's gone. Bam some more. Throw some essences in there, why don't you? Maybe reforge. Just random stuff. Realize you run out of chaos. Buy some more chaos. Spam some more chaos. And then get it again. Fantastic. Suffixes cannot be changed. Reforge Chaos. Suffixes weren't full, so I got Chaos Resistance. Suffixes cannot be changed again. Reforge Chaos. And fantastic. 200 mods. Hit it with another Orb of Dominance. Fail. And more Chaos. And more. Hit it again. Three prefixes. One suffix. Figure, you know, maybe Chris Wilson's on my side and he's watching this, which he's not. And you know, now I have a one out of four chance. Fantastic. I'll have it. So, suffix is not be changed. Reforge Chaos. All right. Now we have three Hunter mods. So, suffix is not be changed again. Scour. Orb of Dominance, number three, fail. Bam again. And again. And some more. And some more. Alright. Fantastic. Suffixes cannot be changed. Reforge Chaos. Hope you get lucky. And you do. Realize you don't have any more Orb of Dominance. Look at that. Fourth time's a charm. Now, hit it with an Awakener Orb and hope you get a good suffix. Then you get Tier 8 Lightning Resistance. Now you can start again and go through that process again or just be happy that you finally hit it. Which is what I did. The suffix can not be changed again. Another 2 Divine. Hit it with a Veiled Chaos Orb and pray you don't fill your prefixes. Get lucky. Take it back to the crafting bench. Craft on mana, and then unveil, hoping for what I was hoping for, that you get movement speed and cannot be chilled. Which, luckily, we did. Your next step would be to craft on Can't Be Frozen. Go to your crafting bench. Realize you didn't plan for this very well, because you don't have any exalted orbs. So, go buy an exalted orb. Finally, craft on. Chance to avoid being frozen. And now you're finally done. So this short, painstaking version of how to craft these boots. Uh, I spent 27 raw divines between orb of dominance and suffixes cannot be changed. Awakener's orb, uh, the hunter exalted orb, and then uh, approximately six more divines just in chaos and essences, a couple of gnolls uh, to get them finished. So spending 33 divines uh, just to craft your boots might seem like a lot. But if we pull up Awakened PoE trade here, we'll price them in standard and then in league. But we go to movement speed, cannot be chilled, and then that would be an open prefix to craft cannot be frozen. I increase cooldown and elevated tailwind. You're looking at 200 divines, and it costs 33 to craft them. Throw the enchant on there, 200. That's online, offline, 
recently. Yeah, 120 to 260. Uh, if we go over to Sanctum, it's probably none. So we'll take off the enchant, see if we get 19 divine. That seems a little suspect. So these are 19 divine. Uh, you do have low intelligence, low mana. Um, same other mods on there as well. Different enchant. They're sorcerer boots, so you do get just energy shield. Uh, 19 divine is less, obviously, than 33 divine, but everything is cheaper in league as well. I would say if you crafted these ones like I have them, you'd probably sell them for, you know, 40 to 50 divine in league. Especially since the league just got extended a month. Alright, well thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video, leave me a comment on this video if you have any questions or any video, and I'll try and respond as fast as possible. And hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying the content, it really helps me out. I will be putting out a full build guide for Cast on Crit Forbidden Right and the changes that I had to make to make it just as powerful in last league as it is this league. And there were some, some pretty vital things that happened that they took away and changed. That will be coming out on Tuesday, and also put out a build guide for the gloves and the rest of the gear that's craftable uh, over the weekend as well. So make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified when I post the next video.